While some of you may cringe at the idea of an Employee of the Week plaque, Chester Elton is here to tell us in today's Consultant's Corner that there's actually a direct correlation between employee recognition and employee performance. He's Vice President of Performance Recognition with the O.C. Tanner Recognition Company and the co-author of the new book, The Carrot Principle, how the best managers use recognition to engage their employees, retain talent, and drive performance. Hi there, Chester. This Hi. is very interesting. I think you've got some great points. The Thanks. first one, though, I do not understand. Which is? <laughs> three coins in your pocket. <laughs> well, three coins in your pocket. It's to develop the attitude and the, and the habit of recognizing your employees. Guy wrote and he says, you know what I do? I put three coins in my right pocket, three quarters in this case, mm -hmm. and I look for three positive things that my employees do every day. Every time I do one, I move a pocket, uh, coin from the right pocket to the left pocket. I won't leave until all the, pocket, all the coins are in the other pocket. And if you're having just a bad day, you're kind of searching. Watching a nice jacket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, see, that's the thing. It's the habit of finding people doing the right thing and then recognizing it immediately. We talk about being timely in your recognition, and that's an important part about not waiting till the end of the week or the end of the quarter or you know the year-end party. Exactly. Okay, this next one. Remember a child's birthday. Yeah, you know, I, I love this one where you know if you do something nice for me, that's great, and I and I feel that as an employee. But if you do something nice for my family, then now you're part of my family. There's a more of an emotional attachment. You remember my. My son's birthday or that my son's baseball team won the championship and you do a little something nice for the employees family it goes a long way okay this one I, I don't know how I feel about this have <laughs> the boss wash the employees car now I have to tell you in some situations that I've been in if my boss were outside washing my car I'd feel uncomfortable well you know it all depends what the relationship is and and again you gotta have a plan it's not like you just come out to your car and see your boss washing your car the idea is you make it a competition <laughs> yeah, you, you know it, it's part of the deal if you hit your certain numbers I'll wash your car or if we hit the number of donations I'll shave my head that kind of thing you know you make it fun and you make it engaging and the message is is that hey I'm I'm not above, you know, digging deep and washing your car. And we're family, and it's fun, and it's engaging. I think, though, that's very dependent on the boss's personality. Oh, there's no question. Or else it would just seem weird and contrived, right? Yeah, I mean, if your boss is coming down in a $3,000 Ar Armani suit, you know, <laughs> with a sponge, I mean, that's a little weird, you know. <laughs> but, but if you've got a family atmosphere, uh, you can do that. You know, we've got a, a company we deal with, uh, Harmon's Management Corp., and Jim Olson is very much a, a people person. And he's got a contest, you know, 50 great recognition moments you send him in, I'll show up at your restaurant and I'll wash your car. Well, he's got that relationship. It works very well. Okay. Employees first day have a welcome card on their desk when yeah. they come in. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Uh -huh. The idea, there's a lot of talk about onboarding, about welcoming uh, people to the company. That is your first day and leaves a great impression. And if you're welcomed by your coworkers, there's a little card there. There's, hey, glad to have you on the team. We're expecting you. Here's your desk. Maybe there's a mentor there to show you around, the best routes to get to work, the best parking places. Here's the best coffee. All that goes a long way to really bringing people in. The opposite of that is when you show up and no one's expecting you. It's a very <laughs> cold like atmosphere. Have lunch with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where do I go? What do I do? And that first day could be the first day they start looking for their next job. And clearly, you don't want that to happen. It's a big retention tool. Yeah, everyone has well. a hard time their first few days at work. And this then is not just about the boss, it's getting the whole company involved then. You know, and that's an excellent point. You know, the, the, the part about it is, JJ, is that. I know I'm going to have a relationship with my boss, but how am I going to be accepted by my peers? Mm -hmm. And if there's a nice welcome card, hey, we've heard about you, welcome to the team. If you got any questions, come ask me. That it goes a long a way. You nicer. bet. Get the whole team involved. Okay, and the last thing that you say goes a long way is a handwritten personal note. Yeah, you know, it's funny. You're pulling all these ideas. We've got a chapter in the Carrot Principle. It's got 125 great ideas, but this one gets a lot of play. And I always ask people, well, why do you save the handwritten note and not the blast emails? And their answer is, is that it's personal. Mm -hmm. You know, I took the time, I hand wrote the note, I, I put it on your desk. Another great tip is hand write a note and mail it to the family. Let them share in it as well. There's something about taking that extra time. And it takes, by the way, I've timed it. It's 90 seconds to write a to handwritten write thing. Yeah, and that's even if you're moving your lips, you know, while you're writing. <laughs> so, you know, you put it in the, in the mail or you put it on the desk. And I'm amazed at how many people save them. They'll put them in their journals. They post them in their workplace. A nice personal touch. Again, I know you as a person, you're not just a number. You're part of the team. Chester, these are fantastic ideas. Excellent. Thank you so much. Well, buy the book. There's lots more there, too. Uh, thank you. You got it.